Okay. So, um, yeah, so I, I'm, I'm very excited to talk to someone in, in digital forensics. We're going to be doing a big series on that uh, next year and especially sort of debunking the way that digital forensics is, is portrayed on, on TV shows like CSI and what versus how it, you know, so you've, you've kind of been doing this since <laughs> yeah. digital forensics was a thing. Can you talk about how uh, the technology or the process or everything changed and, and also how the perception of it changed since people, you know, thought we had like limitless, uh, you know, um, zoom ins and, and rotate the yeah. image and, and all the, <laughs> All the high-tech stuff that doesn't exist. Well, that was, uh, that was always the classic one. It's the, the NASA technology that lets you recover the ref image from the reflection in sunglasses. Yes, or, of um, course. Up, yeah. On the, on the yep. door handle or something like that. Um, <laughs> That's him, all right. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, it, it's fascinating. Like back in the early days, and this is actually before I started, but only a couple of years before I started, um, which was 2003, um, you know, just to give you an idea of the volume of data we're dealing with, you know, it used to be standard to actually print out a listing of every file yeah. on a computer that you examined. So, you know, you write up your report, you've got all your findings, and then just include it as, a, as an appendix. Um, it's just a list of every file that was on the file system. Um, and I just can't imagine, like, the, the reams of paper you're going to go through mm -hmm. if you're going to, going to take that sort of approach. Um and it really was possible, I mean, you know, a lot, uh, by training in terms of learning file systems and things, um, and even when I was teaching file systems, you know, we were still working on floppy disks um, and looking at, you know, how your FAT12 worked and, and having to manually decode mm -hmm. um, FAT12 is, is always a fun thing that's just twist your mind around, <laughs> um, particularly painful, you know, a 12-bit 12, 12 uh numbering system when viewed in a hex editor everything gets sort of twisted up a bit it's just quite painful yeah. um and yeah you know, I, I guess back in those days you know a lot of focus was it was primarily around just recovering deleted files and things which was was relatively straightforward when, you, when you're using um you know spinning discs um and, and floppies and things these days solid state media you, you have a lot less opportunity to recover stuff. You've, you've got all the right. internal cleaning activity going on. Um, but these days, and, and and back then, you know, the files and the information that was getting recorded was, was really pretty minimal at the mm -hmm. operating system level um, and at the application level. These days, there's so much tracking stuff going on on computers, and I'm not probably going to make people a little paranoid now, which is a good thing. You should be. Yeah. Um, but there is there is so much being recorded about everything you're you're doing on your system now that um, you know it's really moved well beyond your your file system type analysis to really focusing on all the different artifacts and and, and pulling those artifacts out of the operating systems um, and using that to to actually put together a much stronger picture around you know certainly yeah. in criminal cases it's building a picture of, of what the computer has been used for. Um, and, and being able to demonstrate that, yeah, this person had the intent to be doing whatever it was that, that they were doing that mm -hmm. system. How about some free cybersecurity training resources for you and your team? Just go to infosecinstitute.com slash free to get ebooks, training guides, and more than 100 cybersecurity training courses, all free for cyber work listeners. Go to infosecinstitute.com slash free and start learning crucial new skills today.